keep watching and showing you all these things. People have asked me, what's my favorite model? I tell them I do not discriminate. I treat them all equally. Yeah, and there's so many of them on there, Alan. Too many, would, too many. Yeah, just hard to make out. So we're going to try to break down this a little bit as we go through. So what I want you to show is that, well, there's a lot of outcomes, just as Alan said. There's a lot of factors that also go into forecasting these storms, too, and that's why we have so many outcomes. Spaghetti plots. They're a common sight when meteorologists show the latest forecast, but what are they? As it turns out, they're actually computer models. Each line represents a different model. Now, typically, we only show you about five to ten models of the better performing ones, but the National Hurricane Center recognizes more than 40 different models. Each model uses different ideas and equations to forecast a storm, and models have all different types of backgrounds. The government makes one, the Navy has one, even universities make them. So why is it that they can't always agree? A big part of it is the data, like current temperatures, winds, and pressure, and the data that we don't know. Imagine your checkbook for the month. If you start off the month not knowing exactly how much is in the account, and then you miss a few transactions along the way, by the end of the month, you could be far from the actual amount. So no matter what track you see on the map, it's best to always be ready. And of course, it's important to know that these lines show nothing about the speed or the strength of any given storm. Spaghetti plots simply give us an idea of all the possible tracks a storm could take if one forms.